بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعزائي طلبة وطلبات شهادة الثانوية العامة قسم رياضيات لغات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اليوم سنتناول مراجعة على الوحدة الأولى والثانية في مادة الديناميكا طبعا علم الديناميكا كما نعلم هو علم الحركة وعلم الديناميكا بيعرفنا حاجات كتيرة جدا جدا في حياتنا اليومية بمعنى لولا الاحتكاك ما كانش فيه توازن بين الجسم وهو ماشي على الارض ايا كان الجسم انسان او حيوان او جماد زي السياره او القطار او الطائره كل ده علم الاحتكاك مهم جدا في حياتنا اليومانيه بمعنى لو انا عندي السياره ايه هو الاحتكاك بتاعها الفرامل فرامل اليد طب جسم الانسان الانسان اما بيتحرك ايه اللي بيوقفه رجليه نظرة احتكاك جسمه أو أو الرجل بتاعته بالأرض. طبعا الاحتكاك ده بتوقف على حاجات كتيرة جدا، أما طبيعة الجسمين المتلامسين. مش معنى إن الاحتكاك ده بتوقف على حجم الجسم، لا ولا وزنه. طبعا بتوقف على طبيعة الجسم نفسه أو الجسمين المتلامسين. بمعنى ممكن يكون جسم كبير جدا جدا وقوة احتكاكه ضعيفة جدا. نظرا لان السمات الفارغه اللي بينه وبين الارض بتكون قليله جدا ده بنعرفه الوحده الاولى والثانيه في ماده الديناميكا طبعا ماده الديناميكا هي علم الحركه لكن ماده الاستاتيكا هي علم السكون وبنجد علم السكون ده مهم جدا جدا في ماده الاستاتيكا بيعرفنا على حاجات اللي هي استاتيك فريكشن فورس ميكانيك فريكشن فورس اما علم الاحتكاك اللي احنا هناخد النهارده المراجعه على الوحده الاولى والثانيه فيها قوانين نيوتن مهم جدا جدا لان هي خاصه بالحركه. Welcome my dear student in our math program for secondary 3. Today we are taking new revision about unit 1, unit 2 in dynamic. My dear student, look at the first example. If we have body of mass 70 kg. placed inside a box. This box of mass 28 kg and the box is attached to vertical strength. If the box moves vertically and magnitude of the tension of strength 105 kg weight, find magnitude and the direction of acceleration of the motion of the box. Number two, the pressure which is the body exert on the box base. My dear student, remember the required find magnitude and direction of acceleration of motion of the box, of box. Number two, the pressure which body exert on the box base. Solution. Look at my dear student. We have body, its weight 70 kilogram. This body, the box, which mass 28. The box, its mass 28 plus 70 of Mass of the body equals 70, it's some 98. The pressure 105, which is more? 105 or 98 gram, 98 G. Then look at my dear student. 105 more than 98. Then The motion is up. The equation B minus mg equals ma. The motion equation B minus mg equals ma. Then, my dear student, by substitution to find acceleration, then acceleration equals 0.7. meter per second square. This acceleration of motion 
We know that my dear student R minus mg equals ma the reaction then we reduce R equal m multiply g plus a by substitution about R about m 70 g and a a 0 0.7 g gravity force 9.8 answer 735 newton by divided 9.875 kilogram newton when convert from newton to kilogram weight divided by 9.8 another example a body of mass m kilogram suspended to spring balance fixed in a ceiling of a lift we have body, its mass m kilogram is suspended to a spring balance fixed in the ceiling of a lift. The balance reading was 22 kilogram watt. When the lift was ascending with acceleration a meter per second square and its reading was 21 kilogram watt when the left was descending with the uniform deceleration of magnitude 1 over 2a meter per second square find the value of two unknown m and a acceleration m is the mass of the body and acceleration a solution look at my dear student at the first R equals 22, the reaction, then by substitution to find the equation 22 R times 9.A mg minus M times 9.8 equal MA. The second equation mg minus r dash equal negative half a then by using two equations to calculate the m and a we have two equations at the first m equals what 20 kilogram weight by substitution to find or to calculate acceleration 0 0.98 meter per second squared Another example, a stone is projected vertically upwards and its height x after t second from the projection as given by the relation x equals 490 minus 4.90 square where x in meter find maximum height of projected body can reach number B find algebraic a velocity vector when the stone is 78.4 meter height then find its velocity number C graph both the position time graph and use them to analyze the motion Solution. At the first, my dear student, we have equation x respect to two time. x t equals 49t minus 4.9t square. This equation of x distant respect to time or function of x function x respect to two time x t equals 490 minus 4.90 square at the first my dear student what is the velocity dx over dt then by using derivative respect to time t then vt equals 49 minus 9.8t this the velocity 
The stone reaches the maximum height. What is the meaning? Maximum height. Excellent. V equals zero. Then by substitution about V equals zero for your nine minus 9.8t equals 0, then we calculate t equals 5 seconds. t equals 5 by substitution of the first equation. First equation xt equals 49t minus 4.9t squared. After we find the t equals 5, then x5 or distance 122.5 meter. My dear student, the stone is projected and reaches 122.5 meter after 5 seconds. This means after 5 seconds, the stone reaches 122.5 meter. The stone is 78.4 meter height when x equals 78.4 by substitution about first equation for 90 minus 4.9 t square equals 78.4. This equation, we solve it by using factorization or calculator to find the value of t. t square equals what? t square t minus 8 multiply t minus 2 must be equal 0. Then we have two values of time, t equal 8 or t equals 2. What you mean? The distance 78.5 when t equal 8 or t equals 2. Someone say this time is wrong. Why? Is this correct? When the projected is upward, takes 8 seconds and reach to distance 78.4 meter. After that drop, uh, 2 seconds. After 70. 8.4 drop, then takes 2 seconds. Then find the velocity at uh, t2 by the second equation from the derivative 49 minus 9.8 times 2. The velocity when t equals 2 equals 29.4 meter per second. When t equals 8, v8 49 minus 9.8 times 8 equals negative 29.4 meter per second. This is the velocity when t equals 2 and when t equals 8. Then we know that the stone is 78.4 meter once ascending after 2 seconds, once descending at after 8 seconds. Algebraic measure of the velocity is 29.4 or negative 29.4. The velocity is known in the two cases, norm or norm positive or negative is positive, 29.4 meter per second from the position time graph. We find that, look at the position time graph. We draw in horizontal time, vertical 
x. x represents the position vector. t from 0 to 10. And the point, look at x start from 0 to 117.6. The student reaches the maximum height. What is the maximum height? 122.5 after x and 5, when t equals 5 seconds. Look at the maximum of the curve or the vertex of the curve, 5 times x equals or distance 122.5. The student gets back two project point ones when t equals what? 10. When t equals 10, x equals 0. The ascending stage took 5 seconds. Ascending stage took 5 seconds and descending stage also took another 5 seconds. Why? Because time, all time equals 10. The stone was at 78.4 meter height when t equal 2 second and t equal 8 second. We have two time when t equal 2 in ascending is 78.4 and after 8 or when t equals 8 the stone is come back to same distance, 78.4 meter when t equals 8 seconds. Another example. A car starts its motion from rest in a straight line from a fire point on the straight line and algebraic measure of its velocity v 3t squared minus 12. Find average velocity and the average speed during the time interval t more than or equal 0, smaller than or equal 7. Solution. Can it change its direction after 4 seconds? Then the velocity 3t squared minus 12t from the given the highest common factor 3t, v became 3t times t minus 4. Then when v equals 0 to t equals 4 or t equals 0. As a first, from the given, the velocity for 3t squared minus 12t. When v equals 0, we find t equals 0, also t equals 4. We know that, my dear student, the distance or displacement integration of the velocity from 0 to 7, 3t squared minus 12t dt. My dear student, in this example, we have velocity. The velocity has equation of t. After that, the velocity when we find displacement or distance, we use integration. Integration from 0 to 7. This interval t more than or equal 0, smaller than or equal 7. Then we use integration to find displacement or distance when the given is the velocity. But if we have the velocity equation and the required is acceleration, we use differentiation. Why? Because a or acceleration vector equal dv over dt. But s or displacement equal integration of the velocity is back to 2 times t. In this example, we have velocity function at t, the required distance. Then we use integration. What is the different integration from 0 to 7? Why? Because from given t more than or equal 0, 
smaller than or equal 7 to calculate the distance or displacement. My dear student, look at the solution. S equals integration, different integration from 0 to 7, 3 t squared minus 12 t respect to 2 time t. Then, my dear student, 3 t power 3 over 3 minus 12 t power 2 over 2 equals t power 3 minus 6 t power 2 by substitution about t equals 7. Answer is 49. Average velocity divided by 7. Answer is 7 c vector. Algebraic velocity 7 meter per second. Covered distance and time belongs to zero closed interval zero seven. Integration of norm velocity respect to time from zero to seven equals absolute from zero to four plus four to seven. Integration we divided integration. The required find to calculate integration from 0 to 7. We divided integration from 0 to 4, then from 4 to 7. Answer is as the first 3t power 3 minus 60t. From 0 to 7, also from 4 to 7, 130. Average velocity, 113 over 7, equal, equal 16 and 1 over 7. This average velocity, it's unit meter per second. Another example. Look at my dear student. The opposite figure represent curve acceleration time graph of particle moves from rest in a straight line during time interval closed interval 0 4 where acceleration measured in meter per second square and time in second draw velocity time graph deduce displacement covered by particle during the same time interval Solution. Straight line, slope of straight line, my dear student, by using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You have two points from graph, 12 minus 4, 12 minus 0, 4 minus 0. From, we take two points from the graph, 0, 0, origin point, 4, 12, and we use slope of a straight line by using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equals 3. This is slope of a straight line. Why? Because we have from the graph straight line. Its equation of a straight line must be y equal mx. Y represent acceleration, x represent time. Then the point A, the equation is A equals mt. By substitution about the slope, A equals 3t, y m equals 3. Then, my dear student, v naught equals 0 to calculate the velocity integration from 0 to t, 3t, d, t equals 3t power 2 over 2, then this is displacement. Integration from 0 to 4, 3 over 2. We calculate the velocity. After that, calculate the displacement or distance from integration interval from 0 to 4, 3 over 2t power 3. Answer is 
1 over 2 t power 3 power 4 equal 32 meter. This the distance is equal 32. Look at the opposite figure represent velocity time graph. Velocity time graph is represent curve. When t equal 4, the velocity equals 12. When t equals 0, the velocity equals 0. My dear student, by the end of the lesson, we know that we have three graphs. At the first acceleration time graph, velocity time graph, displacement time graph. We have three unknown at the first acceleration, velocity, displacement. What is the relation between three unknown? When we find the acceleration by using velocity given, we use differentiation. Acceleration dv over dt. Remember also acceleration equals dv over dx times dx over dt. If we have acceleration, the required the velocity, we use integration, different integration of acceleration respect to time t. Don't forget my dear student. If we have displacement and the required acceleration, what you do? X and student, we use differentiation twice. The first differentiation, d x over dt to calculate the velocity, then find dv over dt to calculate acceleration. If we have my dear student acceleration, the required is displacement. We use integration twice. The first to calculate the velocity by integration and we use integration again to calculate displacement. Don't forget, my dear student, if we have of the graph acceleration, acceleration time graph straight line represent this acceleration at the first, this, uh, this straight line passes through the origin point, this equation y equal mx. y represent acceleration, x represents the time t. Then a equals mt. What is the m? Slope of a straight line. How to find slope of a straight line? By using two points by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We can calculate by other method to calculate the slope of a straight line by using tan angle, which angle be, uh, inclined between two horizontal axes. My dear student, I am very happy to spend such time with you. Thank you. Goodbye.